up guys? How's it going? So I wanted to make a couple of these editing tutorials because people keep asking me like, what do you edit in? How do you edit this? How do you like use this effect? What, what do you do when you're trying to do whatever? So today I wanted to make one on how I set up a vlog, how I set up editing a vlog. And a lot of people ask, what do you edit in? Why do you edit in that? Okay. So I edit in Adobe because well, I started out using Sony Vegas when I worked at a skydive drop zone in Dubai um, because that's all they had. That's what they used to edit their footage. So I had to learn on Sony Vegas and I hated the, the platform. I hated the layout. I hated the interface. I hated everything about it. And then when I started my bachelor's course in film production in Dubai, I... I tried Final Cut because they wanted us to go between Final Cut and Premiere because there's a couple of things that you can do through both of them. But I personally liked Premiere more. So that's what I've used exclusively since I found out that Premiere was the way to go. You used to be able to just outright buy software. Uh, you used to just be able to buy like uh, the Adobe Premiere package and it was pretty expensive. Um, I got a discount because I was a student. So if you're a student, you get a discount even now, but now you pay monthly I'm trying to update my software, but Lightroom continues to not want to update and it's really frustrating me. Uh, but now you can pay monthly and you get the entire CC package, which is pretty much all I need. But if you guys want other things, um, oh, I actually have these two. Nice. You can also get Illustrator or Acrobat or animation software. Oh, there's a shit ton. Speed grade. I mean, that's like color grading, which I should probably get. I think it's like $19.99 a month. If there's an affiliate link, I will put it below so you guys can get a discount. Video blogs. So this is my project window. When you open Premiere, this automatically pops up. You can make a new project, open a project. You can make a project with your team or open one. Uh, you can look for CC files, but this is your recent, this is my recent stuff. So just to go over some of the stuff I'm working on now so you guys can see how many projects I work on. Uh, this was a vocal cover for Memphis Mayfire's The Center that I did with my friend Maxime. Oh, this is the Machine Gun Kelly video. So this is the Machine Gun Kelly behind the scenes video for the alternative press cover shoot. I will put links to all of these below if you guys want to see some of these. I'm working on a couple projects for my friend Jay who owns a reptile zoo. So uh, this is a video about his American alligator named Darth Gator. And this is about his monitor lizard, Bumblebee, who was Mr. Kipling on the Disney, Disney show, Jesse, if you have ever seen that show. And then I am currently editing for Super Sisters Fitness on YouTube. And I'm working possibly on a behind the scenes video with Andy. And uh, this was from the Dollskin photo shoot that I did. You can also see that below. But uh, right now we're going to go in 2017 video blogs and we're opening the project. So I already imported the footage from today that I filmed, uh, but this is kind of how I organize. And this isn't actually very organized uh, music. So typically I will put all of the music in one thing and then I will put, this is me showing you guys how unorganized I am today. Sequences, so I'll put my sequences in one thing. Logos, nice, boom. All right, ooh, I have incense burning in my house. It smells so nice. Okay, so, so we want a new sequence, but basically all you have to do is go here to one of your clips and you can go new sequence from clip, which I already did, so it's called Newport because that's where I went today. Uh, typically I will name these for, for example, like this, February 5th, I went to an abandoned army warehouse. So I named the folder and the, uh, the project sequence after that. Um, but here we go. So you can, there's a couple ways to do this. If I'm doing a bigger project, so for example, the documentary I'm working on, I will go in and name every single project in my finder. I will import everything so it'll be separate. Uh, I'm using my hand to explain separate, but I realize you can't see my hand, but here. So I'll use the folders and have the separate things. So, but uh, when it's my vlogs, like I know what I'm editing, I know what I need to do. So I just kind of scrub through the footage and I know that, oh, that's my crotch. I know that I went and bought a donut. So, um, let's see, what is this 
file. Boom. Weird. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so I will go through and look at this. One minute, uh, Dr. Pepper. What size? Uh, small. One minute, uh, Dr. Pepper. What size? Uh, so I'll get rid of the beginning part. One minute, uh, Dr. Pepper. What size? Uh, small is fine. Just got some donuts. So this is all unnecessary stuff right here. So I set my camera down. This is all unnecessary. All of this is unnecessary footage. So then I will go in and get rid of the rest of that. So I was just recording for way too long there. Um, and then I wanted to do a little um, a review on a bag that I just got. So we're gonna go in, we set up the camera. This is a little bit overexposed, but it's not too bad because the bag is dark enough, the contrast is good enough. Um, so here, this is like raw footage that you guys are gonna see. This is how vloggers edit their stuff. So if I push play. Okay, check this bag out. So first of all, that's a spot for me to put my tripod, which is fucking awesome. It's got a ton of pouches. It's got this guy. I have my keys in here right now, just because they're safe. Um, this bag is expandable to 25 liters. So like, it's 21 meters, but you can like fucking put all kinds of shit in here. So they made it to be like a day bag. They made it for photographers. They made it basically for... I thought I redid this whole thing, but I guess I didn't, which is good. I thought I did like two takes of this, but I'm pretty so, sure... First of all... Uh, so I'm pretty sure I did it good. Or I did it good. <laughs> I did a good job the okay, first time. Bag so, okay, check this bag out. So, to cut down on time of the vlog, we go in and we get rid of unnecessary footage. Here, let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys. Oops. Too big. Too big. Make this guy bigger. Whoops. What the fuck? Why you no do that? Here, let me go back. Take a step back. All right, so I want to cut out from here to here, this, this silent bit. This is me not talking. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click C on my keyboard, which is the cut tool. And then I'm going to click on this, hold down Alt or Option. I don't know what it is if you're on a PC, but if you're on Mac, it's Alt slash Option. You're going to push that down, hold it, and then push Delete or Backspace, and that will cut out that uh, silent bit of the video. So it will now so first of just jump okay. cut so for like that. First of all, and that's how vloggers edit their vlogs. We just jump cut all of the ums, all of the likes, and all of the silent portions of our videos because we don't want you to have to sit there and watch two minutes of us trying to figure out what we're trying to say. That's a spot for me to put my truck on, which is fucking awesome. It's got a ton of pouches. It's got this guy. It's got a ton of pouches. It's got this guy. I have my keys in here right now just because they're safe. Um, this bag is... See that um? Um... This bag is so I'll cut that out because nobody wants to hear ums because I want you all to think I'm perfect. This bag is expandable to 25 liters. So like... Get rid of that. Because I said like. Nobody likes a like. It's 21 liters where you can like fucking put all kinds of shit in here. So they made it to be like a day bag. They made it for photographers. They made it basically for anybody that needs a bag. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, Cut that um like, out. Top part, like I can fit, like, I'm going to show you guys how I edit all this audio in a future episode of this. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you how we edit our vlogs. Um, and that's how you cut out the dead silence. You just go through your timeline and you look for all of the, the ums, the likes, and the dead spots. So if you're trying to get into vlogging, this is a great way for you to start. Like I said, I highly recommend using Adobe Premiere CC, the Creative Cloud. Uh, super easy to work with. You can change the color of your background, of your interface. Just depends on what you're wanting. I kind of want, I think it's dark by default. I just made it lighter so it's easier to see. If I could change it to blue or red, that would be awesome. But I don't think you can do that. So Adobe, if you see this video, can we change that so I can change the uh, background of my interface, please? That would be sick. This is how vloggers edit vlogs. This is how they get that jump cut look 
So let me just show you from the beginning real quick what it looks like, and we will go from there. Then uh, Dr. Pepper. What size? Uh, small is fine. Okay, check this bag out. So first of all, it has a spot for me to put my tripod, which is fucking awesome. It's got a ton of pouches. It's got this guy. I have my keys in here right now, just because they're safe. This bag is expandable to 25 liters. It's 21 liters, but you can, like, fucking put all kinds of shit in here. So they made it to be like a day bag. They made it for photographers. They made it basically for anybody that needs a bag. That's awesome. So yeah, it rolls up, but this top part, like I can fit my drone controller in it, which is super rad. I can also put my drone on here, which is what I did earlier. Cool. So yeah, that's how vloggers make that jump cut effect and the reason we do that is because it trims down the time it trims down the time of the vlog which it helps keep your attention for a longer amount of time let me know if you guys like this let me know what you want me to do in future episodes of my tutorial stuff and i'm sorry it took me so long to start doing these but thank you guys sign up for the mailing list and that way you can get updated when i post a blog on my website Thank you guys, and I love ya. Stay strong, keep enduring. Talk to you soon. Enjoy your editing.